All right, so at this point, we have taken down two out of the 10 new Super Bad Road stages on Global, namely Revenge and Exploding Rage. And honestly, neither of them were really that bad. But at the same time, we did have the SDRLR Broly on both teams, so it was kind of to be expected. Now we're gonna move on to the Team Bardock stage, which I would imagine is gonna be at least a little bit more of a challenge just because the available units in this category are not nearly as broken as the other ones, right? So let's try to find a good Team Bardock friend here. It looks like 79% is our best bet. Uh, let me see. So this one has some okay links. Level five defense orb, not bad. And the other one is, ooh. Okay, so this one's maxed out. We're definitely gonna go for this one. That's perfect. So here's the team. We got the double uh, LR team Bardox. We also have the EZA Fizz LR Bardock, who I think is gonna help a lot, at least compared to someone who is just running the free to play team. And the rest of the team is the AGL Grade 8 Bardock, the Fizz Shugesh, the uh, Int Fasha, and also the STR Bardock. And of course, the items are the same as always. So without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it. So on this first rotation, we have the Grade 8 Bardock, the STR Bardock, and also Fizz Shugesh. Not bad, not bad. So taking a look at the defense, wow, okay, so that's not great. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, not the best defense. I mean, Shugesh does stack with every super. I think this guy at least raises defense. No, he doesn't raise defense. What does he do again? Oh, he gets damage reduction. Right, okay, so he has 50% damage reduction. So even though his defense is quite low, he should be okay. And as far as this guy goes, he raises attack and defense for one turn on the super and... Um, okay, so additional attack for Wicked Bloodline, which we're not facing right now. So I guess what we're going to do is put this guy first. I think that makes sense. And just to be safe, let's pop an Icarus, because I'm not really sure how hard these guys will hit. And then we'll just go for wherever there's type advantage. So I'm going to go for this guy with the Grade 8 Bardock, and then we'll go for uh, this guy with Shugesh. I mean, I guess since the team, like the category is weaker uh, compared to the other categories, the enemies are probably also gonna be weaker as well, uh, relatively speaking. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so we're gonna get supered. I mean, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. 32k with the Icarus active, of course. So if we had no Icarus, then we might have taken, I don't know, 50k, maybe 100k. Damage reduction in this game is kind of weird, so I'm not exactly sure what it would have been. But uh, so far, so good, I would say. So far, so good. I mean, we did take actually more damage from some of those normals uh, than I was expecting. So I think we still have to be careful for sure. Okay, so over 100,000 for each of the LRs, 200,000 for the Fizz LR. That's, that's nice. Uh, let's go for this guy. And we should be able to finish off this dude right here. That's an 18 key super. And then we'll go back to him. All right. So double digits for the normals, it's good to see. I mean, this is like really the best rotation we could possibly get with this team, right? The triple LR Bardock rotation. It doesn't really get better, wow. <laughs> Yo, Fizz LR Bardock is putting in some work, man. Holy crap. You see everybody getting like one mil, like barely breaking one mil, right? And this guy out of nowhere just drops 6.2 mil. <laughs> and we got the Great Ape transformation. Nice. So, uh, yeah, Fizz LR Burdock. He's, he's, he's pretty, pretty dope. Pretty dope.
All right, so we're gonna go for the STR guy. Um, if we happen to kill him, then we'll just attack this guy, which is fine too. Uh, I don't actually know how hard these great apes are gonna hit. Okay, so just under a mil. It's okay, I guess. At least we're not taking damage. So we don't have to worry about uh, using items or anything like that. And that is two guys down. Nice. We get the transformation for two turns or one turn. I think it's just one turn. It might be two turns. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Nice. Okay, so we get it for two turns, which means I can kill off this guy first before we uh, un transform. I guess, or reverse, revert back to uh, Bardock. <laughs> Hopefully we can kill him though, I don't know. Ooh, okay, double crits. I like that, I like that. So there's two guys left now. Don't have to worry, worry too much. The main concern obviously when you're facing like so many enemies is that they're gonna super you like five times in a row, right? Uh, all right, so I think I can safely Actually, I'm not sure. I feel like SDR Bardock should be okay there. But there's no guarantees. I mean, if there's a super, the damage reduction might not hold up. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, luckily it wasn't a super, because if it was, we probably would have died. If a normal was going to hit us for 52k, yeah, a super probably would have killed us. Oh my god. Yo. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> okay, I, I definitely was overconfident, I think, in uh, all of their tanking abilities. I mean, I, th I thought Fasha was going to dodge, because she has a high chance to dodge. But the Bardocks, I thought they were going to do a little bit better, but no, apparently not. Apparently not. So... Lesson learned. Lesson learned. But now we should be able to finish off both these guys. Um, Fizz Bardock will definitely kill the first dude, and then hopefully Int Bardock can finish off the other guy. If not, he's at least going to be sealed, so I'm not too concerned about him. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Come on. Nice. Okay, so... A bit of a close call there. Um, so far, I would say probably the most challenging stage, even with the Fizz LR Bardock, and he's kind of like a cheat code on this uh, stage specifically, right? Because, I mean, he just hits so much harder than everybody else. He's basically going to be one-shotting everybody. But on the off rotation, when he's not there, yo, things can be a little bit scary, man. Thing things can be a little bit scary. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave the AGL Grade 8 Bardock in the middle, because he seems to be by far the least tanky. And uh, with the Princess Snake, I think STR Bardock should be okay. And Int Bardock, I mean, 75,000 defense is not a lot, but I think he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. And we can seal with this guy, right? Yeah, he seals, so let's uh, make sure to seal... Hmm, actually, I think both these guys... This guy seals too, no? Or is it only with the 18k super? Oh, wait a second. He doesn't seal? It, it, wait, what? I thought this guy sealed. Wait, so does Great A Bardock seal? No, he doesn't seal either. So is it only... Oh, no, it's the Fizz Bardock that seals. The Fizz LR Bardock seals. Right, okay. So that's my bad. Uh, let's seal Zarbon anyways. Uh, let's give them, give them those, and then we'll attack the Doria, and uh, I guess we'll give these, give these to LR Bardock. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about a potential super from the Doria. I think LR Bardock will hold up though. And also we have type advantage with the Grade 8 Bardock, so I 
think you'll be okay. I think you'll be okay. These guys have a decent amount of HP though. We're probably not going to be able to one-shot them with uh, the Fizz Bardock, unless we get a crit or something like that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that was a little rough. That was a little rough. Um, I'm going to pop the Whis this time. And uh, luckily Zarbon is still sealed. Um... I think I should probably seal the Doria as well, just to be on the safer side. Yeah, I mean, of course we have type disadvantage, I see that, but I think just to be safe, I, I can't risk taking a super um, from anybody, so if we get lucky, we can crit and still do some real damage. If not though, he'll at least be sealed, so I'll still take that. Ooh. Damn, okay. No, that was some good damage. That was some good damage. We should kill him here. And then we'll just have Doria to worry about. Okay, I... I. <laughs> well, I, I was going to say disrespect. I did not disrespect Fizz Bardock. I just wasn't sure if he was going to crit, but he came through, man. This, this man came through in a big way. All right, um, so we can continue to seal him, right? In which case, we do not need to worry about using any items here. We just need to heal up a little bit with the with the orbs here. Uh, there we go, and we got this. We got this. Nice, eleven damage. Then we get the seal off here. Beautiful, and an additional. I'll take that. Looking good. Looking good. <laughs> so we lost a lot of attack because we did kill, uh, you know, the Doria. So there's only one enemy, so we lose like 77% or something like that attack. Um, not a big deal though. We can, we can slow play this. Or actually, we don't have to. Let's, uh, let's kill him this turn. Let's kill him this turn. There we go. Give these to him. And I would be shocked. If he survives that super. Shocked. It's not gonna happen. There's no way. Should be close to 6 mil. Oh, nope. Close to 7 mil. My bad. 6.7. And a nice crit of 4.5. There you go. And of course, the final boss is first form Frieza. This guy is AGL, which scares me a lot uh, because the STR Bardock is not going to hold up so well. Um, man, that's a lot of attacks, man. Okay, so let's put Flash it there. I think I'm going to put Grade 8 Bardock here. And I'm going to pop this. And then I'm also going to pop this. Extra precaution. You gotta do it. Okay. Um, I mean, I kind of want to put STR Bardock in the front just so I can seal him, but I don't know. Like, type disadvantage, but 50% damage reduction. Like, what's what's a better option? I don't, I'm not. I'm not hundred percent. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. And. It just feels wrong, you know, just putting an STR unit in front of all of those all of those AGL attacks. But at the same time, he does have the 50% damage reduction. Uh okay, okay. Let's leave this as is. He will be sealed after this, so we don't have to worry about a super after. Hopefully he supers after he gets the or or he would have supered after he Oh my god. <laughs> of course. Oh. Okay, so I guess the 50% damage reduction that's built in, stacked on top of the Princess Snake, plus the Whis, um, makes these guys basically like brick walls, right? Like they can't be touched at this point. 
I don't think anybody's gonna really take any real damage with those stacked up damage reductions, you know, so. Yeah, I psyched myself out for no reason. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, I don't know why. Okay. Um, wow, look at that, a full 24k super, because of course we're facing a Frieza, and he gets a guaranteed crit against Frieza as well, if I remember correctly. Yeah, performs a critical hit when there's an enemy whose name is Frieza, awesome. And we get the additional uh, 6 key when facing one enemy, oh that makes sense. And, oh, he also gets additional 100% attack when facing Frieza. So this is going to be a crazy super, guys. This is going to be a crazy super. Obviously, we put this guy here. Doesn't matter how many orbs we give him. Let's try to get an 18 key super. We do. Um, you know what? I don't trust these guys' defense, though. So I'm going to pop an hater just to increase their defense a bit. There we go. And uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Yo, I... I think we're gonna kill him this turn, man. I think he's gonna do it. Let's see. Oh, token attack too. Okay, so notice the attack stat, 7.3 mil. Oh crap, oh crap, that was fast. 7.3 mil. And a guaranteed crit. Hopefully an additional. It's gonna be good. Gonna be good. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh man, okay, he's not dead, he's not dead, but pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. I'm not sure if we can finish him next turn just because the other guys don't hit that hard, but man, if you have Fizz LR Bardock, then he's also a cheat code. That That's also a cheat code. Um, okay. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so we definitely popped the Whis, or sorry, the Icarus this time. And uh, we're just going to make sure to seal him, and I think we'll be good to go. Yeah, okay, I'll give these to LR Bardock, I'll give these to AGL Bardock. Okay, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. So we just got to survive this turn, and then next turn is LR Bardock. We'll close the show. And that'll be that. 59, nice. 72. 93. 73. Yeah, if you don't have Fizz LR Bardock, I think it's still very much possible, right? But it'd be really hard. It would be really hard. Like, I don't know how. Ooh, nice. Um. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely not impossible to, to, to beat this Frieza without the Fizz LR Bardock. But man, does he make such a big difference, man. It's 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 crazy, um, like how big of a difference he makes, right? Because he hits so much harder than everybody else on the team. So like, I feel really bad for people that don't have the Fizz LR Bardock, you know, or at least like aren't able to extreme z awaken him if you don't have like the right team to do the do his extreme z battle event um because yeah he's pretty damn op for this stage <laughs> like this stage specifically because you're fighting a frieza at the end um and because they probably you know made the stage a little bit easier because it's the team bardock category uh, but still that frieza at the end is no joke and if you don't have this dude right here, who's a literal cheat code, you might have a bad time. You, you might have a bad time, I gotta say. But hey, we got him, so we got the stage done. I don't care, and <laughs> that's gonna be Team Bardock, uh, stage three out of 10, three down, seven to go, guys. Uh, I'll probably have another run up later today for, what's the next one? I think it's Inhuman Deeds. I think it's Inhuman Deeds, but it could be something else. I'm not sure. Either way, that's this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely 
hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Bria. Signing out.